We are at the Delta Energy Park for the Lansing Board of Water and Light. My name is Pat Heffron. I'm a project manager with Andy J. Egan Company. I'm working now on a 250 megawatt combined cycle power plant. The first stage in the project begins with the pre-construction phase and learning what all the estimation team has put into it and starting to understand the contract documents, the requirements of the owner. And then we begin to break that down once we get into the work package and start to actual build the plan. We begin modeling a project almost immediately after award. If we see issues early, we can make adjustments, make corrections as a team that may involve other craft, other trades. We may move to different areas of a project. Most projects like this are very fast paced. Getting ahead of it with the design is key to the success of the project. So the planning phase is incredibly important and that's where the schedules are developed to meet the customer's needs. This is what we're gonna put in when. And this phase of this project is going here. When this is done, this can happen. That's when like the next tier and the superintendent's project manager along with CAD and coordination through the VDC. They all come together and just tear that plan apart to come up with the best possible way to, to install the project. From start to finish and wrapped up with the turnover and the quality assurance and the packages that are turned over to the customer through commissioning and meeting the customer's requirements. I do CAD drawings and work packages. The specifications come from the engineers and then we incorporate them into our CAD system. We draw everything in CAD, and then we break it out into little pieces, and then I take all the little pieces parts, and I make drawings that represent elevations and center to centers and pipe types and what type of hanger goes on it and what the weld procedure may be, you know, and just verify that it's correct. And I create drawings for the guys in the field to install the piping. So as BIM manager, I, I help to oversee, obviously, the coordinators and the guys who are working on drawing, but I also oversee the spooling process, which is getting drawings from our CAD department into the fabrication department. So the general process in modeling a plant involves setting equipment first, and then we'll pipe the larger bore piping to all of that equipment, and then get it to tie points or get it to other equipment. And we'll usually circle back and do a lot of the small bore piping and coordination. As that happens, we're obviously concerned about the other trades, if there's fire protection, electrical, um, some of the civil. Once it is fully coordinated and clash free, we'll then take the model and extract portions of that model and send those into fabrication through the spooling process. I'm overseeing all the fabrication in the shop and I'm also a CWI on, on checking all the welds and making sure that every spool is built correctly. For a powerhouse, there's many different systems and there's a lot different classes of pipe. You're, you're dealing with chrome pipes, stainless pipes, um, carbon steel, many different thicknesses. Your procedures really help you in to fabricate those. The stages that we have set up, we have material verification, which is very crucial. Like I said, we can't start anything until these materials are verified. You gotta look at your heat numbers, you know, and do they match your MTRs? Do you have the right pipe? How far is, is it? Is it chrome P11 or is it P22? Are you working on carbon steel? And then it goes over to our plasma cutter, our HCG machine. Uh, it's very crucial that those pipes are cut at the specific length that they need to be cut. If they're not, we can't fabricate. Secondly, it goes into a tack booth. So all this plays a role into, again, making a really good weldment. FabPro helps us um, manage and figure out where each piece is at on the floor without me even having to go out there and look at it. So when these pieces go through our stages, you know, the end result is getting them welded out, but before it can even be shipped, there's a stage called QC. Me and another foreman will check these spools just to verify that they're built correctly and the welds are sound and up to standard what we want before it leaves. Fabricating spools incorrectly is very bad and if the fabricated piece doesn't fit, it sets them back days. Progress is going well, we're right on schedule, right where we expect it to be. I help oversee the mechanical installation of the project. After the work packages are developed, those are handed off to the foreman who's going to be performing that work. Usually this happens on a weekly basis. The timeline of the work, we try to keep within 40 hours of work time. That's a good range of, of not getting too much information piled into one package. So once a package is complete and the work is installed, that is, it is documented in, in a spreadsheet and which goes on to the customer to show where we're at with our footage installation. Uh, it gives us a real solid feeling of where we are and, and if we're on schedule and where we're gonna end up at. That installation progress is recorded um, from start to finish 
and the information we get is, is tracked on a daily basis down to the foot of pipe, a certain weld, or how many spools or how many systems or isometric drawings have been put in. And at any time, we can show that transparency to the customer so they can have the confidence that we are where we say we are. I think Andy Egan communicates with the customer well and the guys in the field well, and they provide the tools needed on the job to get it installed properly. So right now, everything that I have QC that's come out of this shop to the powerhouse has been 100% accurate. For us to get the model correct and accurate gives not only our customer confidence, but also gives our field guys confidence as well that what they're installing is there to stay. Egan's a 100 plus year old company now, and many of the employees have been here for decades. And that experience has beat processes up. And for lack of better terms, it's, it's been tried and true.